inside your guys' Groove account. So what you're going to do, we're going to go into engagements again and just kind of play around with this one. So one of the things that you can see is I'm going to duplicate this page because I want to show you how this exact how this works. So I'm going to take the giveaway and clone that page so we can have a copy here that we can delete later on. But from here, what we're going to do is uh, alter that page as far as the form. So here in a couple of seconds, this thing will load. We'll be able to start making adjustments. So I'm going to walk you through the process of being able to make any modifications that you need to. Inside of here, just give it a second. And it looks like it's still flashing. I guarantee that's already set up and ready to go. I just need to go ahead and refresh. So it should not take that long. So I'm just going to refresh it. And then it should be in there. So if I go to giveaway, then go giveaway copy, this thing should already be built out. All right, so it's ready to go. So the first thing that I want you guys to know is that like this is an actual template like placeholder. Yes, they are going to have this where this is fully functional and then we can configure it and make this whole form work really well. So like that's where you go in a container or layout and then like you'd be able to like select this whole entire thing. So there'd be a form container that you can actually select and then you can configure all the buttons and then also the giveaway. So like if I were to select this, this is in the way, I know that. Um, what you could do is go to the body here or that block on this one. So make sure it's this one. So I'd click here and then I go to block and scroll this down for now so we can access this. So then I can click on uh, what happens on form submit and then that's where I can actually change the text or change like wherever the action is but see there's not really anything else as far as like it being connected to anything so this is more just like a pretty form as far as showing you guys the template and once Groove comes out with that connection element that we can actually use this type of a form where we build our own inside of Groove then that will be awesome but right now they don't have that so what we need to do is actually delete these out and uh, delete these items and then we'll build out our own form. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll actually just start deleting some of this stuff out and show you how it works. So I'm going to click on delete and then I'm going to click this one up here too. Click on delete, confirm. Notice how I'm just clicking on the different elements. So last name, first name, all those. Delete those out. Click this. Delete this out. Confirm. Delete here. Notice how I'm inside of this, I'm not actually deleting the form. I'm just deleting this part. So I'm deleting this again. I'm going to delete the giveaway section. But I'm still going to leave these other two pieces. And I'll just create like a little bit of spacing or so. So I know that uh, there is an opportunity for me to place stuff in there. So um, I'll just go ahead and do like 1.5 rem. All right. So now that I have this in here. And I know that there's a place where I can drop something else in there. I'll probably do like a code embed for right now because most of your guys' stuff is actually going to be a third party. If you have Groove Mail, then you can actually drop it in there. But for right now, what we're going to do is just go in and take the code embed because I'm actually going to use the code embed to do Groove Mail as well. And now I'm going to drop this in here. And it's going to flash. And then I am going to make this, give this a little bit of spacing as far as padding down below and just go like that. Maybe make it like one room. And then I'll put my code embed here by using my, um, that little gear. And then wherever you see this black box up here, that's where you're going to be able to drop that code in there. So if you have MailChimp or anything like that, then you can drop your, drop your code in there and uh, save that. So that's how you would configure this one. You'd also do the same thing as far as Groove Funnels and do it that way too. So just drop your code embed and then this form will stylize and you can change the color and all that stuff through that third party. And that's how this works. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know.